Hey guys, Mr. D here today, and I'm giving you guys a quick news update on the highly anticipated GTX 1080 that was announced by Nvidia a couple weeks back. We're finally getting some images of the custom boards from EVGA, starting off with their super clocked ACX 3.0 edition of the card. First of all, let me tell you that this thing looks amazing. They really went with an aggressive looking style, and you will see that it has their usual dual ball bearing fans and huge heatsink that runs across almost the entire length of the card. It just gives it a great look and hopefully better cooling performance. The front badge lights up in white and can be changed through the software and the super clocking SC badge is also lit with a green LED. I personally can't wait to get my hands on it and to make an unboxing video as well as a review video covering how well it performs. Videocards.com also managed to score some photos of Zotac's new AMP and AMP Extreme series of the GTX 1080 with two and three fans respectively. They also come with adjustable LED lighting and what we're seeing is that both cards come with two 8-pin connectors, a jump from the single 8-pin connector that we've been seeing with the majority of the other cards. Hopefully this extra wattage will give us the better performance that we're looking for, although no official specs have been revealed. Finally. Videocards.com also brought us an image of the new Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080. In the picture we see the actual card, which looks pretty great, and the box. Going based on the box, we know that it has Aura technology, which will help us make modifications to the LEDs. And also, we see that it's overclocked from factory, just like the EVGA model. This is all we know for now guys. Be on the lookout as Computex kicks off, and I'm sure we'll find out a lot more about these cards. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more tech news and reviews. See you next time.